So today we are starting off with the Beast of the Buckingham Palace. Yes, yes. I am doing book reviews and more epic things. So, um, I, I haven't read it all the way through, but I have read it. I've read up to that bit, as you could tell. My foldy bits look down. Get down. Get down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so, yes, a book review. I'm going to also be doing, like, role plays and stuff. So, I hope you enjoy them. So, this book is really... Well, what? I love the style of it because... Well, first of all, I should introduce the na name. Yeah, yeah, just don't worry about that. The, the Beast of the Buckingham Palace. On the blurb, it says, Prince Alfred, a, a sickly boy of 12, has never known life outside Buckingham Palace. Evil forces are at work and must and be must do battle with the king of the beast of griffin illustrated by tony ross whatever that says whatever that says i hope you can read it yeah i know so yeah nice little drawings i have don't Buckingham Palace don't really have a moat, but yeah. So, if I remember correctly, they introduced the beast at the very start. He done I I would like to thank, so, David Williams, if you're watching this. I love your books. Let's just read this bit. Britain, the year is 2120, 100 years in the future. The kingdom is dark. Britain has not seen sunlight for 50 years. The government has, has been overthrown. And once again, the king rules the kingdom from Buckingham Palace still home to the royal family it is now also a fortress no one can get in or out i like the very start of it it's like it's like very like introducing like no one can get in or out it's just it's just going on a bit you know what i mean so yeah if you want this book, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Just go looking in bookshops, shops, buy the book in the bookshop. Well, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Peace.